Right, in this lesson we'll be practicing some basic attitude flying. Basic attitude flying are things like straight and level flight, climbs, descents, and turns. So the key to basic attitude flying is to remember that your pitch plus your power is going to give you a certain performance. If you set cruise power with a cruise pitch, you'll get cruise performance. So in this flight, we'll, uh, we'll begin here over the Riverside Airport. We're facing up towards downtown in the north, up at altitude, and we'll start here. And so we've set our power at 75%, and you can see we've got about two fingers distance between the top of the cowling and the horizon. Uh, if we increase the distance away from the horizon, then we'll have our nose down away from level, we'll be descending. If we decrease that distance, we'll be climbing. So we want to set, again, about two fingers distance between the horizon and the top of the cowling. Now you may notice you can't let go of the controls. If you do, the nose starts to move. So that's where trim comes in. Trim to relieve any of those control pressures. If you're pushing forward on the stick, trim the nose down. If you're pulling up on the stick, trim the nose up. Um, that way you can release the control pressures and concentrate on other tasks than just holding the airplane's nose in that position from the horizon. So let's, let's start a climb. To climb, we're going to increase our power and power, attitude, trim. Power is going to go to full for the climb. We're going to raise our nose to about one finger above the horizon. With that power and that attitude, that pitch plus that power, we can expect climb performance, but we can't let go of the controls until we trim. So we'll trim to relieve those control pressures. And you may be noticing that the nose is kind of slightly turning towards the left. It's because with high power and low speed, you've got a lot of left turning tendencies, so you'll counteract that with a little bit of right rudder pressure just enough to keep the nose from turning off to the left. So now we've established a very good climb. We've released the controls. And let's go ahead and level off. Now, level off, we're going to lower the nose first before we adjust the power because we need to accelerate back to our normal cruising speed. So if I lower the nose, the airplane is going to accelerate back to my normal cruising speed of 90 knots. And once I see that 90 knots, I can reduce my power. So I've got my power back to 75% and trim to relieve the control pressures. Constantly making small adjustments to the controls to hold that pitch attitude exactly where I want it. Now to begin a descent, we're going to go power, attitude, trim. The pitch and power performance here, we're going to bring the power back to 25%. And we're going to lower the nose slightly, and instead of two fingers, we're going to use about three fingers distance between the top of the cowling and the horizon. And trim to relieve those control pressures. Now I've started a nice gentle descent. When it's time to level off, power, attitude, trim, set the pitch back to level and we'll bring the power back to 75% at cruise power and trim to relieve the control pressures. There we've covered some basic attitudes, straight and level flight, climbs and descents. Thank you.